Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Grimwit. This is Miasmata. We just now found this camp. It's just afternoon. And there's one more camp I want to find before we hit up Camp Draco. And finally cover the last part of the island. I believe Excalibur will protect us well. Look at this thing. Yeah. You could hurt somebody with that. Quiet woods are quiet, but I'm not too worried about being snuck up on by the creature. Okay, now I'm a little worried about being snuck up on by the creature. Okay, he's behind us, so that's fine. Whoa, 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 what the heck just happened there? Robert Hughes is slipping and sliding on the ground like it was made of ice. It's really not his fault. He is a marble, after all. He just runs downhill. Whoa. That is a cool-looking face right there. Can I map that? I already have. Ah, that was pretty cool. No cre creature behind us. Right about where... Hey, birdie. Where the water hits the most inland part will come up to a bridge, which is right at the stem of the clover that I mentioned. There's a pathway that splits. One part of the path isn't really a path, and that's that direction, but we want to head north a little bit first. Oh, uh, good, no creature around. And just north of that mushroom patch is another camp. I feel cheated. There's no notes around here. There's nothing around here at all. Well, alright. Let's head south. Some mention has been made of uh, f certain flowers that are on the ground that I have passed by. These we already know are useless. I think. I'm pretty sure. But there's also a huge number of flowers that are just on the ground that you can't pick. They're just... I don't know, there. Decoration. Kind of like how we can't pick the high grass. Am I going the right way? This feels, this feels like the wrong way. Yeah, this is the wrong way, and there's a critter behind me driving me towards that way, so I don't like that. He's on the hunt. He's got my scent. He's hungry like the wolf, but he's not a wolf. He's a cat. Okay, I recognize that camp. Wait. Where'd Excalibur go? Uh, is it worth getting Excalibur? Shit, no it isn't. Let's play a little game. 
pictures right behind me. We're in a camp. What now? I just saw him scare off something. Now he's gone. Is he afraid of camps? He very well may be. And of course he had to hide towards the direction that we have to go to get Camp Draco. Huh. Ah, you're nothing like Excalibur. I'm gonna call you Massamoon. Massamune. First. Okay. So, important thing to note from this lesson. The creature stays away from camps. I don't rightly know why. We've returned to the starting camp, Outpost Draco. This place looks smaller now that we've seen how big the island can be. We need to replenish one of our basic medicines before we leave. And uh, that's, of course, very easily done. I mean, this is where we made the first basic medicines. And these pink flowers are everywhere. There we go. We now have a full set. Oh, we're missing a Herculean tonic. Thank God. I think there's enough time to head towards the next camp before it's sunset. Oh. Somebody in the thread wanted to know whether or not if you just pulled out all of the weeds and dropped them. Weeds? Did I say weeds? I meant flowers. Would they stay that way? Let's find out. There's a crop, a small crop of flowers over here. Let's just start picking them. Let's go to pick the flower. Pick them and drop them. Pick them and drop them. No raisin. Watch the flowers roll down hills, as flowers are very well known to do. Pick them and drop them. Pick them and drop them. There's our little experiment right there. And when we return, we'll see if this particular patch of flowers has regrown. So there should be two whole crops of flowers. This one right here, and this right here. We'll come back to that later down the road. Squirrel, what are you doing? Squirrel, that's... You're... You're underwater. Squirrel, stop. You're freaking me out. Whatever, squirrel. He must have buried his nuts under the pond. Alright. We can follow this, or we could follow that. Looks like my map for some reason shows a trail going that way. Let's see where it leads. There's no creature around. I don't like the idea of going in the woods just yet. Hmm. I'm not sure I would call that a path either. Whoa.
When the game begins, you really are given a, one of two choices. You can either follow the maps you're, you've been given, like I had, uh, well, at the beginning of the Let's Play, or you can take a right and go into unknown territory. In fact, as far as adventure games go, the non-linear nature of this game is kind of a little ingenious. I know I might be giving them too much credit, but I haven't seen an adventure game where you really get to decide how you want to play it. Do you want to fight being led by the nose and start wandering around the island on your own? Or do you want to see how far you can get, as how far the tutorial will take you, as it were? Oh, there's a just right over there. I could take the path, but I do like hugging the coastline, so and we can't just walk it. Huh. Trail would have led us here anyway. With trusty katana in hand, let's see what this brings us. A message on cartography. Fantastic. Ooh. Are you serious? Now we have that on our map. The compass here is covering up the trail, but there are two parts of this camp. One way over here, and one way over here. And of course, we're going to go to both. Hmm. Do I have time, though? Yeah, we've saved. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, the first split. Try this way first. Take the high road. I don't think that's part of the path. It was mentioned that sometimes these trails aren't so much trails as they are sort of guidelines to trails. That's pretty. Oh, okay. I cannot take these lily flowers. Did I just drop? Oh, good. The cast iron pot floats. I was worried. And I can't really grab it now because it's just sort of floating there in the middle of the pond. Come, give me my, give me my katana. Give, give me my katana. <sighs> Another casualty.
Also, I don't see a camp around here. In, in fact, I'm kind of lost. Well, shoot. Let's try to head towards high ground and we'll see if we can find our way out. Man, I like that. That's two cast iron cookware that I've lost today. Man. I might be able to map where I am, though. Then again, maybe not. All right, well, let's try and figure it out. Oh, I'm too far north. I need to head straight south. And by straight south, I mean kind of south. Somehow, I got off track. Oh, uh, well, there's the camp, and it's kind of far down there. But no, 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 we're not doing that. How on earth did I make it out all the way out here? Log out of fucking nowhere. Oh, I found the campgrounds. From behind. <laughs> Don't knock it if it works. Katana replacement. Candle. I'll probably sleep here tonight. Well, this outpost doesn't have any story in it. Map the surrounding area. Very easily done. And I think we got a little bit of that head that was off in the distance. Well, that was no fun. Okay, there should be a trail leading this off to the main outpost, Sirius. I should have plenty of time to get there, and then I'll end the episode there. I don't see a trail. There should be a trail right in front of me where this water is. Is this water drinkable? Yes, it is. In fact, this whole area just kind of gives me this feeling like... I don't know if... Like I'm not even in this part of the island, like I'm on a different part of the island. it we'll go this way at least there's plenty of high grass to hide in sure creature we'll just let you be over there while we run the opposite way Ooh. do we have these yes I'm just picking flowers. That's what scientists do. All I need now is a green and yellow basket. Or is it blue and yellow? I forget how the song goes. 
A fist of casket. Nope, I can't take these flowers. He's moved. Lightning fast, why? Of course, the question must be asked, how does Robert Hughes even know he's way over there? I don't have the ability to just sort of detect creatures. Oh, hello. Well, this is more like it. We have some kind of fungus. I think this is the common mushroom. Huh. I got a little time in this episode. Let's see what we can find. What? I don't know who bothers. What? Okay. Apparently there was other trouble happening around here. Herbert must not have been the only one losing his mind. From the description of this flower, it must be enormous. Professor Daglas didn't have to look hard for this one. Dear God, he danced too hard. I don't know if I could handle fabulousness of this magnitude. this it's a depressing entry from a newspaper about the death toll climbing I wonder if that woman in the picture is the nurse that was talked about in one of the notes we found in a camp a couple of episodes ago Normally, I'd have to backtrack to get to this particular cabin. There's another trail that routes around this area so that you could reach here without going through all this trouble. But I say screw it. Trails were meant to be ignored. Oh, what? No stairs? <laughs> Rightly so, too. There's nothing here, but... Ooh, I think this may be the only orange. <laughs> well, I really think that's going to do it for this episode. When we come back, we'll head south, and we'll see if we can't find uh, Outpost Rigel. And then we'll head towards the last third of our trek. And maybe we'll finally find a cure. Stay tranquil, everyone.